It's been 35 years ago since I was introduced to Bill Garrison, but I still remember that. We were introduced to one another by a mutual friend, a businessman in Huntsville, Robert McCann. And uh, my impression of Bill Garrison was that he was a person that was uh, very sincere. Uh, he just exuded self-confidence, but it was self-confidence without one iota of arrogance attached to it. That's kind of difficult to do, but he did that. I do uh, not define success. Other people define success. That is the reason why you should only pay attention to excellence. You are in charge of excellence. Other people are in charge of success. My favorite memory of, uh, uh, of Bill Garrison uh, has to do with his career. He was taking command of a peacekeeping operation in the uh, Sinai Peninsula. He was, I think, commander of Delta Force at the time, although I'm not certain about that part. But I do know that he had recently broken his leg in a parachute jump and had a walking cast on it and was having to use a cane. Instead of flying his command in to the airport and having them uh, uh, simply move into their new quarters, uh, he had them all airdropped 20 miles out in the desert and uh, he marched them in on that uh, broken leg with a walk walking cast and using a cane. Walked 20 miles in to take command of that peacekeeping operation. I read that in the, about that. He, he didn't tell me about it. I read about it in uh, the Washington Post or the New York Times. I've forgotten what it was, but there was a newspaper article about that, and I thought that really is interesting. And that's the kind of soldier that Bill Garrison was. He was a soldier's soldier. And I've talked to a lot of senior officers over the years, asking them if they knew Bill Garrison. I'm talking about colonels and generals. To a person, every one of them either knew him personally or knew a great deal about him. They held him in high esteem and admired him greatly. Uh, that's the sort of reputation he had among uh, all of his peers. The most important decision or turning point in my career was being involved with Dr. Vernon Sweeney. He taught me uh, the necessity of how to think and not what to think. Or he taught me that I should learn how to do geometric thinking as opposed to linear thinking. And what that allowed me to do is to understand that if I changed the way that I looked at things, the things I looked at would change. Another interesting uh, part of his career, of course, was the uh, Mogadishu operation. Uh, he was commander of that operation. That's the operation about which the, the book and movie Black Hawk Down uh, was written and filmed. And that was the situation that got our Secretary of Defense, Les Aspen, uh, in a great deal of trouble. And Bill Garrison came in and sent a handwritten note to President Clinton and said, this was my operation. I'm responsible for anything that happened in it. The Secretary of Defense was not responsible for it. That's the kind of soldier he was also. I'm still involved with Sam Houston State University because of Dr. Bob Marks, Dr. Sarah Hart, and Mr. Robert McCann. These are people that are unique, they're worthy of emulation, and they are a great credit to Sam Houston State University. I think the one thing that I've learned most in observing uh, Bill Garrison's career uh, is that if you take care of the people that work for you, they in turn will take care of you. That's a real good lesson to learn. An attribute for success that is the most important is that of persistence. Everything else is mostly overtouted. Simply stated, that means never give up, never give up, never give up.